Welcome to Top of the Hill Fitness. I am Shane and good for you for clicking on this workout. I'm probably going to name it something dramatic like Sufferfest or Pain Cave because I suffered through it. So uh, let, we will suffer through it together. Let's get ready for a warm up starting in a few seconds here with a boxer shuffle. Okay, so think about being nice and light on your feet and let's move those arms around at the same time. Loosen up the shoulders, starting with keeping your jaw nice and loose and your neck nice and loose. I've got some paintings on the wall by Bradley Harms. For more information about Brad's work, you can check the video description below. Step the tempo up a little bit with jogging in place. Don't forget your arms to nice and loosen the shoulders and running arms. Okay, coming up in five seconds, the sunflower. Feet a bit wider than hip width apart, arms overhead, and maintain that circle as you go down to the side, around the front from one foot to the other, and up the other side. So by maintaining the circle with your arms above your head like the face of a sunflower, you get a nice side body stretch in there, as well as a hamstring and lower back stretch too. Coming up next is going to be a squat and reach. So for this one, a nice low squat and then reach up to the side with both arms and then reach up to the other side. Just nice and steady and work those hips and knees down in the squat as you go through this last 30 seconds. Try to get nice and low. Hip opener comes next. So we'll do this with a hop. So it's just a question of facing forward, keeping your chest and your hips looking forward, but opening up that hip and bringing the knee up above your hip. And putting a hopping motion in there keeps your heart rate up a little bit. High knee twist coming up next. I think we lost count. <laughs> High knee twist. Okay, just twisting the upper body to the side as you raise the knees. Nice and steady on this one. You can do a bit of a crunch forward as well as you do the twist. Gets a little flexibility going in the lower back. Okay, we'll get the heart rate up again with some jacks, nice and steady with the jumping jacks.
yeah, feel free to mix up the kind of jumping jacks you're doing here. Ten more seconds, and then we'll do jog in place to round out the warm up. I like to start to visualize the workout a little bit. So we're going to start our hit with some high knees. So as you're jogging in place here, think about moving the arms in a nice running motion and the ball of the feet. You can visualize them just barely touching the ground and your knees driving up. Okay, 30 second break here as we get ready for round one of five. We're gonna do A, B, C, A, B, C. So each exercise we're gonna do twice. 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off, and 45 seconds between rounds. And like I said, we're gonna start with some high knees. So we are getting right into it. Okay, get ready to go in five. Okay, go, go, go. Five to go. Good job. Okay, next exercise is going to be a downward dog with a push up. So we're going to do a nice solid downward dog position and then flatten out to a high plank, lower to a push up, then back to downward dog. Okay, nice triangle with your body, high plank, lower to a push up, then back to the triangle with the body, high plank, lower to a push up. Five to go. Okay, you're going to stay down on the mat for swimmers. So this is going to be on your belly, arms out in front of you, legs up off the ground. Okay, begin swimmer motion. So opposite arm, opposite leg, small range of motion, nice and controlled. Five to go. Okay, gonna go through those exercises one more time, starting with high knees. Okay, get ready. And go, go, go. Go hard for the last five. Good job. Okay, downward dog with push up. Okay, nice wide, big triangle and push up position. Keep moving nice and steady through these motion motions. Five 
Five to go. Okay, stay down on the mat for our last round of swimmers. Okay, begin the swimmers. Yeah, try to get those thighs up off the mat as far as you can and arch that chest up as well. Five to go. All right, 45 second break between rounds here. Okay, round two is going to be the same as round one, structure-wise. So ABC, ABC exercises, 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off. You get it. And we also start with a hard one here. So burpee jacks is what we're going to start with for round two. So this involves a burpee with a jumping jack at the top, and when you're in the push-up position, jack out with your feet. Okay, down, jack out with the feet, up, jumping jack at the top. Down, jack out with the feet, up, jumping jack at the top. Keep it going. Good job. Okay, five to go. Let's get another one in there. Maybe another one and a half. Okay, good job. Okay, now we're going to do an inchworm push-up. So feet a little wider than shoulder width apart. Walk forward with your hands. High plank position, push-up. And then walk them back up and keep that motion going. Okay, now prairie dog next. Good stability exercise for the core, lower back. Okay, so opposite arm, opposite leg. Out nice and straight. Try to think of getting that arm and leg in a parallel line to the floor. And pause for a moment for a squeeze at the top of that position and lower them back down. Five seconds to go. Okay, burpee jacks again. Begin with the burpee jacks. Ten more seconds, keep it going. Okay, good job. Okay, inchworm push-ups. So this is a bit of a recovery from that. So legs probably double shoulder width apart depending on your ham hamstring flexibility. Okay, down to the mat, high plank, push-up and walk yourself back up to standing.
five to go. Okay, getting ready for Prairie Dog. So down hands and knees and Prairie Dog coming up next. Okay, really move with intention through this one. Nice controlled movements and get that nice squeeze at the top. Okay, five to go. Okay, two rounds down of five, no problem. I don't know why I was being so dramatic in my uh, video description about how horrible this workout's gonna be. But as you can probably tell, the pattern here is that A is the tough one. So for round three, our A exercise is gonna be a mountain climber with a twist. So a mountain climber with a twist is just your traditional mountain climber, but instead of driving the knee straight forward, we're gonna drive it towards the opposite elbow. So get down into mountain climber position, get ready to go in five. Okay, go, 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 mountain climber twist. Opposite knee to opposite elbow, quick, quick, quick. Five to go. Okay, nice work. Next exercise is going to be plank leg raise. So this is gonna be an elbow plank position and we are going to raise up one leg at a time. Okay, so right leg and hold for a, for a half a beat at the top and then left leg alternating sides. Great lower back butt exercise here and hamstring. Five to go. Okay, now we're gonna flip over onto our back for the dead bug. Similar to the prairie dog in reverse, I suppose. It's gonna be arms up in the air. Knees up bent at 90 degrees and straighten out the arm and the leg. Alternating sides. So right arm, left leg, left leg, right arm. Really concentrate on your small of your back pushing into the mat in this exercise and being very still through your pelvis. Five to go. Okay, another round of mountain climber twist. Okay, go, 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 mountain climber twist. Okay, keep it going quick, five seconds to go. Good job. Okay, plank leg raise is next. So nice solid elbow plank position. And raise the right leg and then the left leg. And when you return, to both feet down, think about that straight line from your ankle, through your knee, through your hip, to your shoulder. Five seconds to go.
Okay, good job. Over onto the back for the last dead bug. Okay, don't forget that small of the back pushing into the ground and a nice steady controlled motion as you straighten out that leg and bring the opposite arm down. Five to go. Okay, 45 second rest. Take this opportunity to get a little water if you like. Just make sure you keep moving around. Tempting to just lie on the mat, but that's not a good idea. Okay, getting ready for round four here. Again, you're familiar with the structure and our Unpleasant one, number eight, letter A, is going to be the star jump. Ugh. If you want to stick around for the end of the video, I've got a clip of me doing star jumps with the audio on. It's a little bit comical and not entirely pleasant. Okay, five seconds to go. Star jumps. Nice explosive powers. High up as you can get. Wide open. Five seconds to go. Keep it going. Another one. And another one. Okay. Hey, at least you get to do another set of those in a couple of minutes. Okay, now we have push up with rotation. Thank you, Carrie, for the water. Okay, push up, down, and rotate up. Point to the ceiling. Push up, down, rotate the other side. Five seconds to go. Okay, we're gonna stay down on the mat for donkey kicks. Starting with the right side. I like to go down on my elbows for the donkey kicks because I feel I get a bit better range of motion on my kicking leg there. Five seconds to go. Okay, yes, let's get ready for the second and final round of star jumps. And like I said, if you want to feel better about yourself, hang around to the end of the video. You can hear me uh, flail through them. Okay, let's go, star jumps. Yeah, form's falling apart there, but that's okay. We're doing it. Okay, push up with rotation again. Okay, remember that nice high plank position as you come back to the start of the push up and as you rotate up. You want to have a straight line. Again, through your ankle, knee, hip to shoulder. Five to go.
Okay, staying down on the mat for donkey kicks this side on the this time on the left side. Okay, begin. Five seconds to go. Good job. That is round four done. We have one more round of this hit series before we get into the cool down. So grab a drink of water, keep moving around. Don't stand still. Don't lie on the mat as tempting as it is. Okay, nasty bit here is going to be jumping lunges, which we're gonna start in 10 seconds. I think that's me looking at the list saying, oh no, jumping lunges. Okay, begin. Chest nice and high, be looking forward. Five to go. Okay, we are making this last round count. So we are doing plank ups next. So this is from a high plank position down to elbow plank, from elbow plank up to high plank. Okay, begin. Alternate which side you go down with as well. Five to go. Good work. Okay, we're gonna stay down on the mat for fire hydrants next. So hands and knees, I'm gonna lift that right leg out to the side. Keep the knee bent at 90 degrees and try to lift it up to parallel to the ground. Five to go. Okay, excellent work. Back to letter A, the jumping lunges. This is our last real hard one, so let's make it count. Okay, go, jumping lunges. If you can't keep up the jump, then just do straight up lunges, forward lunges, alternating sides. Five seconds to go, keep it going. Oh, good work, <laughs> that looks so hard. Oh man, okay, plank ups. One more round of plank ups. Okay, let's make these quality. So quality means don't forget your plank position. Okay, just 10 seconds to go, keep going.
Okay, now fire hydrant on the left side. Okay, that left leg out, maintaining that 90 degree bend in the knee, and if you can bring that knee up to parallel to the ground, that's great. Five to go. Okay, here is just the 15 second transition to the cool down. Grab a glass of water if you like, and we're gonna move into a nice chill boxer shuffle. Mm, I lost track of time here, but I'm taking a sip and getting shuffling. So good job on the hit. We were obviously worked the uh, got the heart rate up and did some excellent upper body and core ex core strengthening exercises as well. And as for the warm down, we'll continue that a little bit. Next exercise we're going to do is good mornings. So for good mornings, we're going to have our hands behind our head and we're going to lean forward to try to get our upper body parallel with ground. And in the process, we're gonna stretch the hamstrings as well as strengthen the hamstrings and the glutes. So a nice steady motion and bend forward to the point where you can feel that nice stretch and then use your hamstrings and your glutes to bring yourself back up to upright. Okay, next one we're gonna do gentle lunge pulse, then pop up into an airplane, starting on the right side. So go as deep as you like with these lunges. I know we were doing jumpy lunges not that long ago. Hopefully it's not too horrible of a memory for you, but pop up and try to get that upper body and leg at the back parallel to the ground, and then you can drop it back down into a lunge position. Pulse, 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 and then pop back up, really working those stabilizing muscles in the planted leg. I find it super helpful to do things that really focus on balance in your cool down as well. Okay, let's switch it to the other side so that your left leg is your standing leg. Pulse, 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 and then pop up to airplane. And really focus on rooting that standing leg down into the ground as you go up into your airplane position. And as you probably know, focus on a singular thing on the ground in front of you to aid in the balance. Okay, coming up, we're gonna do a sumo squat with a clap overhead. Okay, this is a nice relaxing exercise. So sumo squat, so toes out about 45 degrees, and you do sink down into that sumo squat. Don't let your knees cave inwards, keep them over your ankles. And as you come up from the sumo squat, nice big stretch over top, clap the hands together back down into a nice deep sumo squat. Okay, in 10 seconds, we're gonna move into a downward dog slash shoulder push-up position. Okay, into a nice down dog position. So really getting those hips up towards the ceiling, armpits open towards the mat, and then slowly lower the top of your head towards the mat. 
and then push yourself back up. And when you're back in that down dog position, you can pedal out the feet a little bit if you like. Really take your time to do as many shoulder push-ups in this position as you want to. If you just wanna get a nice down dog going, then by all means, go for that. Ten seconds, we're going to move into the cat cow position. So down onto hands and knees. A nice inhalation as you are in cow position, and then in cat position, exhalation as you arch your back up and tuck your chin in towards your chest. And just with your breath, move through those two positions. As you go into the cat position, push away from the floor, make some space between your shoulder blades. Okay, from here, we're gonna move into child's pose. Okay, so you can make your knees a bit further apart and sit back towards your heels, arms outstretched in front of you. I like to rise up onto the fingertips of my right hand and I'm gonna walk them over to the left side. So I'm getting a nice side body stretch and then walk my fingers all the way over to the right side. Nice side body stretch on the left side. Okay, back to center for the last five seconds or so. Okay, fantastic work, everybody. That was a tough workout. I found it difficult, if you couldn't tell from my grimacing face. Thank you so much to Bradley Harms for the paintings on the wall. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. It'll really help us keep this channel going and support the arts in the process. We look forward to seeing you next time at Top of the Hill. And here is what it sounds like when I'm struggling horribly. Hey.